Hi and welcome to <clears throat> exams by Apna course. Exams by Apna course is the first ever skill based game which gives you a cashback on every correct answer. Uh, so it allows you to earn while you learn. Today's video will focus on uh, how to navigate the portal uh, as a student attempting exams for uh, competitions or entrance tests like NEET, uh, CA Foundation, uh, GMAT, GATE, JEE, UPSC, etc. Et so on the landing page of exams by Apna course, so you visit apnacourse.com slash exams. You will see a set of information of it being fun and gamified, uh, a set of features. All the questions are MCQ based. Uh, allowing you to enroll into any exam, any subject, attempting anywhere, anytime with a lot of gamification concepts like level ups, power ups uh, and a lot and lot of rewards. So this is basically a play to earn concept P2E. So it's a P2E based uh, learning uh, platform and then a set of information and also frequently asked questions. So get started uh, you have the option to log in with your apna course credentials if you already have one um, if not then you have the option to register for free so let's say we give in a, a registration of current time which is uh, 316 uh, so we can uh, we give the name as test 15.16 mobile number something like say some random number uh, this has test1516 up at apnacourse.com and a password. So you sign up and you get registered successfully. Then you get to the screen which asks you to choose if you want to come as educator or student. I believe you would have already done these. Educators are users who get the option to post questions. Students are those who get to answer them. So you enroll as a student, you agree to the terms and you get the option here to choose whether you want to navigate the public exams or the private exams. Private exams are those where you get a, a exam code from the educator to attempt uh, a specific set of their questions. Uh, public exams are those where you get access to a whole world of questions by multiple uh, renowned and professional educators uh, hosting them across 30 plus uh, exams. So you go to the public exams and in there you also get to see the list of top educators. The left panel tells you uh, the navigation. Of course, you can always switch to various roles. You have the option to switch between student role and educator role. You have the option to switch between public exams and private exams. So you have the dashboard uh, and then you have the exams that tells you. Your, uh, so as part of login, you directly get into the start exams page. There is also the wallet, info and the help center. Uh, if you are registering for the first time or you are logging into exams by Apna course for the first time, you also get a welcome bonus. So on the top right corner, you have the option here saying welcome bonus. You get 50 free A coins. A coins is the digital currency on exams by Apna course. So you get 50 free A coins as a one time registration bonus to allow you to attempt any play to earn exam and to win cash back and, the learn, and uh, therefore you learn more, you earn more. So you claim your welcome bonus <coughs> that gets immediately added uh, to your wallet. You can always have a look at that welcome bonus. So you can go to the wallet, you go to the history, you will see that the welcome bonus has been added. So you get 50 coins that has been credited with a balance now therefore 50. You will also be able to see it in your dashboard. So as 50 uh, a coins and the level ups etc. There are details on how it's calculated. So depending on the number of questions you attempt, you get a level up and each level up brings you a whole lot of benefits. So you go back to the start page and uh, choose an exam group. There are two groups that are shown. You have upskilling and you have competitive. Of course, this could increase over a period of time. Uh, so you can kind of choose an exam group that is relevant to you. Under upskilling, you have various uh, professional, uh, professional, uh, say, um, courses, not co but or professional topics, right? Like general knowledge, uh, banking and finance, which covers GST, banking, general accounting, corporate finance, project management, and BA, IT security, and so on. And there are more and more topics that are getting added as we speak. Uh, in competitive, you will. 
um, as on date itself, that is, um, we are on, on mid of December of 21, you will see JEE mains, uh, see a foundation, UPSC, GATE, NEET, etc. And there are more than 20 more other uh, subjects and exams that are getting added um, again as we speak. So you choose a competitive or an upskilling exam. So let's just say uh, we say CA, Foundation, Business, Mathematics, uh, and, log uh, and uh, <clears throat> Uh, logical reasoning and statistics. So once you choose the exam subject, you will see a leaderboard on the right side. And this leaderboard is based on a set of reward points. And this is uh, real, real time and dynamic in nature. So you see this leaderboard and tell there are so many students who have attempted this particular exam. The number of questions are displayed with a breakup of questions into a difficulty called as easy, medium or hard. How this difficulty is calculated, you will be able to see that information on the screen. So you have questions where minimum attendees are less than or equal to 10 or greater than 75% students have got it right. That's easy. Medium is where between 25 to 75% students have got it right and hard is where less than 25% students have got it right. There are two other important terminologies that you need to understand. There is a rewards multiplier. Now the reward points, the points that you're able to see on the screen on the right side under the leaderboard, these reward points are calculated by multiplying the time saved on answering a correct question with the rewards multiplier, which means <clears throat> if you're attempting easy questions, you get one into the number of seconds saved per question. If you are attempting a medium, it is two into number of seconds saved. And if you are attempting a hard, it is five into number of attempts saved, uh, a number of seconds saved. Why is this important? It is important to quickly grow, go up the leaderboard and there are leaderboard rewards for top positions. So it is important that you strategically think how you want to attempt these questions, whether you want to go uh, the, depending on the difficulty of those questions and how fast you are able to attempt it. Then there is cashback. As we said, Exams by Apna course is the first ever platform, which is a P2E play to earn platform to give you a cashback on every correct answer. The number of A coins, so cashback also is, is via A coins and you can encash these A coins um, in, in back into your, uh, into your physical, into your real wallet. So cashback is the number of A coins you get back on every correct answer higher the difficulty, higher the cashback, which means easy is going to give you 1.5 A coins per correct answer. Medium is going to give you two and hard is going to give you three. So because we started with the welcome bonus, we already have 50 A coins. We require, let's say we, we want to attempt. So there are 98 questions available in easy. Let's say we just want to attempt five. So the required A coins is five. In case you do not have balance, you will see an option here to say add a coin. So let's say even now if I have I have 50, I want to attempt all 98 questions. You will see this option immediately and the submit button to start the exam is hidden. So you will have the option to add here itself. Extremely economical options, 50 a coins for just 100 rupees, 200 a coins for just 300 rupees or 500 a coins for 500 rupees. You can add them on the screen here or you can also go to the wallet and add them from there. So suppose you do not want to attempt or you have the balance, you will be able to see, um, uh, you will be able to uh, see the number of A coins that you need uh, and therefore here you will see the submit option. So let's say we are starting with five questions. It tells me total number of questions is five, total time 360 seconds, difficulty is easy. Now do remember that all of this is dynamically computed. So you cannot choose which of those, which faculty or which instructors five questions you want to see in the public exam. It's completely automatically uh, computed. Uh, and it's based on a whole lot of factors on the number of people who have attempted questions and the number of correct answers, the level of the faculty um, and, and so on. So a lot of that is uh, considered as part of an internal algorithm that gives you this option. So you can start the exam and uh, you will see a set of questions here uh, saying if 9 cross 81 and if there are images, so you'll have two notes right on top, you will be able to see that exam will be auto submitted when the timer reaches zero. So on the right side, you have the timer and then you're also having a real time view of the leaderboard. 
So here we are in the 19th rank with zero points. You will immediately, if there are correct answers, you will immediately see a jump up in the uh, ranking and the number of points. So it's important to understand exam will be auto submitted when the timer reaches zero and images can be zoomed on hover. Now also important to understand the options are completely jumbled every time. So if even if you are, your friend attempts a similar question and says that the option is one, don't go by that because the options are completely jumbled every time you attempt it. So uh, let's just try something out here. Oh, we did get it right. Wow. And it, we got 20 points. We still on the 19th rank. Uh, and then something else is here. So just randomly click it. Oh, that went wrong. We didn't get any reward points added. Let's say we just skip this particular question. And the fourth is if twice of money of whatever, whatever, whatever. So we just say we submit. We still didn't get that right. And uh, just give it a shot. And no, we got. So on completing the exam, you have this results page. We would love if you are able to given a rating and a review, uh, you will see that the category of it was easy. You can also share your uh, exam result to your known uh, colleagues and friends. You can download it as a certificate. You can also WhatsApp it to your uh, uh, close network. You can also email it. So let's just say you want to see how the download of the certificate is. It will allow you to download and you have a PDF copy that gets saved on your screen on, on your system. So here the score and the time you took uh, and the average time per second per question. And then of course you can also filter by saying I want to see only the correct answers and the not attempted or I want to see only the not attempted and so on. So you can do all of those filtering uh, to look at the results and it will give you what is the answer description. So you it will highlight uh, what is the correct answer, what is it that you answered and what is the answer description, etc. So the, all of these are highlighted and gives you a detailed analysis. So you can go back to your dashboard and uh, you will see uh, the results page will uh, display that particular record when you started, when you completed with the option again to share from here as um, a downloaded PDF, WhatsApp, email, etc. And also go back to the results page. Now go to the wallet and you will see the transaction summary. So what happened is first time we got a welcome bonus of 50. Then we went ahead and attempted five questions. So there were five A coins that got debited. So those were used for this CA foundation business mathematics. So five got debited and then we got one right. And that, and that one and a half is basically uh, is, is uh, taken to the nearest in integer, which is two. So we got two A coins credited and therefore our balance is 47. You can also add from here or go to the wallet and add if you do not have balance. And that's how you use the uh, A coins on Apna course exams. Uh, they are always there to help you, which means you can you can go to the help, navigate to the help center and reach out to us at support at apnacourse.com or type in your query and we'll be happy to guide. Welcome to the first ever play to earn um, uh, test prep platform. The more you learn, the more you earn. Here's wishing you all the very best. Look forward to your contribute uh, collaboration. Thanks and regards.